unfortunately, the current owner, they're not getting any rent, okay? So when you buy this particular property, you're going to have to evict the tenant that's living there. The current owner ain't going to mess with the tenant, y'all. The current owner, you know who that tenant is? That is her sister, right? So there is some family issues there, and she doesn't want to deal with it, right? So instead of going to war with her sister, trying to get her to pay or to get out of the house, she's just walking away from it. She ain't trying to mess with it. So that's what you're going to have to mess with, right? She ain't trying to create even more issues, right? You know, she's got this personal tie to this, and she's like, dude... I'll take a discount, just get it off my plate. Cut. I didn't walk up the driveway because I didn't want to trespass just in case. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Doing business with your friends and family. You might be thinking, oh, if I become a landlord, I'm going to do business with my friends and family. I'm going to go ahead and rent family members and friends and acquaintances. I'm going to go ahead and rent them houses, cut them a deal, and it'll be a win-win, right? They'll get a nice landlord, a landlord who's not a jerk. I'll get a tenant who I know and I trust, and everything's going to be hunky-dory. You might be thinking that's a good idea. Well, unfortunately for you, you would be wrong. That's actually a terrible idea. Those of us who've been in the game a long time, I think we've probably all had some level of those thoughts. Like, oh, it's all going to be cool, man. We're all bros here. Nah, nah. That's not how it works in the real world. In the real world, you can't mix business and pleasure. You cannot uh, cross the boundaries between like a landlord-tenant business relationship, friends, family, acquaintances. Never works. One of those people who's finding that out the hard way is the particular seller of today's property. 2027 Fairfax Road, Toledo, Ohio. It is priced at 69000 If you check the comps, that is very, very low for this particular neighborhood. As a matter of fact, you'd be able to rent this bad boy for $12.95. Yeah, Toledo is smoking hot these days. The rents in Toledo very, very high. It's 2023. The rents everywhere are high, but uh, Toledo doing very, very well. Unfortunately, the current owner, they're not getting any rent, okay? So when you buy this particular property, you're going to have to evict the tenant that's living there. The current owner ain't going to mess with the tenant, y'all. The current owner, you know who that tenant is? That is her sister, right? So there is some family issues there, and she doesn't want to deal with it, right? So instead of going to war with her sister, trying to get her to pay or to get out of the house, she's just walking away from it. She ain't trying to mess with it. So that's what you're going to have to mess with, right? She ain't trying to create even more issues, right? You know, she's got this personal tie to this, and she's like, dude... I'll take a discount, just get it off my plate, right? And that's what we do as investors, okay? We go in and we solve people's problems, right? This is a big problem for her. Her sister is stealing money from her. A lot of people don't like conflict, right? Especially when there's a personal relationship there. So us as investors, we make money. We buy properties at discounts, we get money, right? And you get properties at discounts when there's a problem to solve. In this case, it's a personal relationship, right? So we got to buy the property, $69.9, and then we got to kick out that dirty deadbeat sister of hers, right? Now, as far as getting inside the property, y'all, that's probably not going to work out very easy. So we are only going to be accepting as is cash offers. No questions asked. As is cash offers only. If you want to make an offer contingent on an inspection, contingent on an appraisal, contingent on this lady's sister uh, playing ball with us. No. None of those will be accepted, considered, none of that. As is Cash offers only. You got to roll the dice a little bit to see how it goes. Now, if you want to go to the property physically yourself, be my guest. You want to knock on the door and see if this lady's going to let you take a look around, be my guest. I ain't going to stop you. I don't know how well it's going to go for you. I imagine it's probably not going to go pretty well, okay? 
Most of the time, squatters don't let random strangers who are thinking about buying their landlord's house into their home. If you think you can make that fly, knock yourself out. Don't matter to me. The only thing I care about is getting an as-is cash offer, right? So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I need to do my due diligence. I got to make sure I'm not comfortable taking on that level of risk or I'm not comfortable trying to talk myself into this house. This property probably isn't for you, so you probably don't need to continue wasting any more of your time because them's the breaks, yo. That's what we got here. We got a situation where we're selling it at a discount because we got a tenant who ain't playing ball, okay? And the owner is her sister, and she don't want to mess with it. So as is cash offers only, folks, you can send those to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. You better have proof of funds with that offer. And if you're thinking about refinancing this particular property out later, totally cool, man. If you need lenders to do that, let me know. I've been doing this game for a long time, folks. Over $200 million worth of investment property sales to investors all over the world with properties just like this. I work all throughout Ohio. Toledo, Akron, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Youngstown. I do it all, and I've built a huge Rolodex of lenders. So if you guys need lenders to handle those refinances, handle your investment property purchases, I can take care of that for you. Just let me know, and I'll shoot you my list of lenders. Let's go! Cut. I didn't walk up the driveway because I didn't want to trespass just in case. Yeah, that's fine. I'll get as much as I can with the drones. Okay. <laughs> I've like often thought about it. Like if someone runs it over, I'm just gonna like pick it up and like, just drive away. Just turn around, yeah. like that didn't Let's happen. Alright. These guys are uninteresting as fuck. I can't go too high up because the fuck. That's road. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.